Again, 21 to 56. Not great numbers, I would say. But once you're done, thank you, uh, New England, for joining. We immediately want to do the intervention debate. We want to try to intervene as quickly as possible. Alaska requests intervention. Absolutely, we're going to move into Alaska. I don't think... I mean, Floyd, I think, could theoretically declare war on us, but I don't think that's actually going to happen. The Napoleon 1 mod? Which, which mod was that? With, with Napoleon. Because I know that there was a... I know there's a mod for Hoi 4 coming out. That's supposed to be like if the French Revolution ever happened, but I don't know what ever happened with it. I don't know if it got cancelled or whatnot. Okay, military factories. Let us go for more aircraft. I know so we're not actually even making... Oh, never mind. We are making fighters. They're just up here. What do you want me to do? You want me to royal visit to New England. Um, I'm going to say no on that for right now. Influence of Brex Exiles. You know, let's direct them some more. 30 political power. Give me more factories. Volunteers. Yeah, we probably could, we can send a volunteers. Up to 65 planes. Of course, 65 planes actually means 198. Just go here first. Let's head back home. Actually, we can send you here. Send you over Appalachia. Hawaii, which is joining Entente. Absolutely. Welcome, Hawaii. The prospect of intervention. You can support New England or we can support the federal government. Which we will do. Floyd Olson, you're the, you're the man for the job. He immediately then wants to do Ice to the South. Okay. French connect, uh, attention have lessons. Thank you. You love to see it. And now... We can send in... 164 fighters. Oh, yeah. You go here. Then all of you combine. You're going to go to Illinois. I love how fucking broken it is. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Panama sees the canal. You should join the Entente, Panama. I won't go to war with you if you join my country. You join my faction. Okay. So the Russian Empire has been re uh, restored. King Edward has replaced the British Prime Minister. We can declare war on Panama. Uh, yeah, let's declare war on Panama. They probably deserve it. Are you a puppet of ours? You are. I'm going to request your army here. Give me five divisions, please. And you will be our invasion force into Panama. Go from Kingston to... Just land in, in Panama like this. We will then send our navy down south. Not all of it, just a small handful. Do we have a time limit on actually killing them? We'll support that. We'll send 2,000 guns to the U.S. I mean, not that I see. Intervene in the Civil War. Can't do that quite yet. Costa Rican government. Yeah, there we go, Costa Rica. Join our faction, please. You do have one division. So we're going to immediately actually send you guys here. Okay, Hawaii is joined. We'll then invite Costa Rica to join as well. Everybody gets to join our faction. Yeah, so what do we need to do to intervene here? We need to... Complete crossing the border. Which is you. Okay, we can get that done. Again, America, just hold out for as long as you possibly can, okay? We're getting volunteers from the Japanese and the... Okay, and now most of the Entente. Germany and Paraguay is supporting Huey Long. Do you want to call... I guess we can call the West Indies Federation into the war. Okay, 
Okay, we have troops now arriving. Excellent. Panama, how many troops do you guys actually have? You have one of the four divisions. Not a credible amount. Well, then try to just, like, navally invade this port. Just send, yeah, just send one of you here. Okay. Sardinia has been called into the war. You have a, you do have an air base, so you know what? We might as well send our bombers down here. And then just bomb the hell out of Costa Rica. Anything else we can do? We can, we can deploy some aircraft down here. We do have some fighters. Boost you up to 50. Then we also have some close air support. Yeah, this seems fine. Trade with America! I mean, Canada relies a great deal of trade routes that go to the United States. While the Civil War has uh, benefited us in some ways, namely it orders of Canadian goods from abroad have increased as American stores become unreliable. The fact that many of our exports have always gone to America itself, excellent. Yeah, just, just make my economy worse. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, the death of Philip Snowden. We get some stability out of that. How should we get off air superiority here? And it's like it's a six percent modifier. It's not incredible, but I will definitely take it. Trade agreement with Norway will will agree to that proposal. Yeah, I mean if we we will keep the canal for sure if we can. Uh, if we can. There we go. Pass, 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 pass. We, of course, will take everything here. And then you guys, you can just go back to the Wendy's Indies Federation. You've, you've, you've served your, uh, you've done your duty here. We're going to send you guys to Toronto. There are a lot of American Union State troops. However, our intervention should begin rather soon. Yes. Keep. Let me keep the canal. Follow this up with crossing the border to go down into the U.S. Okay, there we go. I think. I think the Entente honestly is doing pretty okay for itself. I mean, Germany, of course, did lose out on Belgium, but that's not so bad. Switzerland did lose Geneva, which would typically mean, um, to go National Populist. I mean, theoretically, National Populist, uh, Switzerland can invade the Commune of France, but I don't think I've ever actually seen it happen. So, anything else happening in the world, of course. We want Bulgaria to win their war. I don't think they're going to end up doing it, but that's who you want to win. Yeah, so when we deploy our forces, we move into the U.S. ourselves. We probably want to attack, like, right here. Push away straight towards Bhutan Rouge in New Orleans. Cut the American Union State in two. Okay. We're in South America. We won't worry about that quite yet. And we're about 22 days, less than a month ago, until Canadian troops can fulfill their destiny. And liberate America. Unless it goes syndicalist, the Swiss do absolutely nothing. I've seen them once. I think one time recently we saw them join the Reichs back, but that's about it. And welcome, Norway. To our uh, lovely little faction. Trade agreement with Germany. Sweden is um conservative. They should end up joining the Reichs Pact. We can use Norway to launch invasions into Britain itself. Of course, we can also use Ireland for that as well if we, uh, if we want to. Okay, Middle Africa should be staying together due to the fact that they're so conservative. Their stability should not fall low enough to collapse. Okay, 
modify government. Um... What, what do we want here? Fire support, I think, is artillery, right? It's not giving me the pop-up, and I don't know why. Can you, like... There we go. Artillery, organization, recovery rates. Give me the organization, give me the recovery rate. I think that seems pretty good. Invasion penalty minus 25%. Cheaper floating harbors. That's okay. And honestly, we probably actually should rush our way to getting um, floating harbors as quickly as possible. Fighter detection. You know what? Give me fighter protection. And then uh, torpedoes, because we're basically just going to build submarines. It's, it's the best. Uh, it's honestly the best vehicle you can have. Decision available. We're not going to reinforce any of our territory here, because we shouldn't need to. Invite Panama into the IEDC. We will then invite Norway into the IEDC as well. I don't think... I don't think the AI can really actually refuse to join the IEDC. Next up, we're going to put a point into... France. New England can end up joining the United States, which we don't want to happen. Of course, South Africa could theoretically... Um, go authoritarian democratic, which is anti-entente. I can't do you yet. Address the army. I guess we go for CN rail expansion so we can get more of our uh, text here done. And now, we will intervene in the Civil War. 30 more days. In America, I'll be here to help. Okay, we want to kind of push it like right here. Cut them in half. What do we want? I mean, we can invest 100 IEDC. Can I throw that into my own country? No, because we've already done it with our own um, instruction speed. Nah, of course we're going to go for our consumer goods. Like, they, it's the thing with the economy. It's just the only option, really. Every other option, I think, is just objectively worse. Okay, yeah, we also have 150 points. Next up, I will I invest in New England because, I mean, if New England joins up with the United States, it still works out okay for us. Once the United States is actually in the Entente as well. You still have assassinated Fallout, but that's only going to last like two more weeks and then you're going to become a lot stronger against the American Union state. Fighting for America... Of course, you do still have the social resistance, which I don't think you're really going to be able to get rid of uh, too, too easily. I mean, could start navally invading. You know what? Yeah, West Indies Federation, I want your army back. And I want you to go from here, and honestly, just like land straight to Miami. You do have... Okay, low supplies here, but that's okay. Don't worry about it too much. Yeah, we're just going to land down there. Sympathy strikes across Canada. Across the nation, numerous groups have risen up to in sympathy strikes for American Union state. They're creating blockades and enforcing work stoppages in several cities. Claiming that they're doing so in support of Huey Long. His fight for the average American is the same fight faced by the average people everywhere, said one organizer. Strikes been unruly and disruptive. In several cases, have been resulted in violent clashes with the RCMP. Okay, look. No, you're not allowed to support Huey Long in my America. Okay? Are you allowed to intervene directly? Yeah, in about three days, we're going to be intervening directly into the American Civil War. Putting 21 divisions right here for immediate push towards the capital. But I, want, I want America on our side. For what I assume are pretty obvious reasons. Yeah, so we're just going to put you guys... Okay, I do want military ac uh, access through you. Because I want you right here, and your job is push your way down south. It is my America. They don't realize it yet. But Canada will soon be America. Call everybody into the war. No, there's no PSA in this timeline.
We'll then go for the C, uh, CP Rail Expansion. And you should connect directly up here. Yeah, I want you on trucks. And turn you off. Actually, yeah. Set you to horses. And we're just going to have Blue Army itself set to, uh, set to trucks. And yeah, we're not working. Blue be okay with this. And honestly, I think you guys should be very aggressive. The entirety of the Air Force, your job is to cover Blue Army. And then you guys will launch an invasion whenever. It's your continent they're just living on, exactly. This is the American century, baby. Where's your next? We got one in Birmingham. I, I would like to take Birmingham, please. Anyway, we want to make sure you guys are actually focusing. Don't be up here. Please and thank you. You guys will be able to launch your way soon. And of course, American Union States now worth the entire of the Entente. Having a bad day. Hey, you want to just march away straight to Bhutan Rouge and then straight into New Orleans? I think that'd be really nice for me. And then you just go straight to Montgomery and then to Mobile. Yeah, actually, there are troops just hanging in Miami, so actually, ignore that for now. Go up towards Savannah. Is New England in the war? They no, they're not, because they still have... Yes, because they got a reluctant population. They don't want to join the war yet. But they will eventually. Go straight to Atlanta. Pull it back. One more province. And I know they're not really provinces, but... You know, the, name, the names work out anyways. Your way here. Here, you see there are some troops in Bhutan Rouge. But not that many, honestly. Atlanta, of course, is now under Canadian occupation. You'd love to see it. And we're actually just going to take Bhutan Rouge as well. Okay, but you're not going to take New Orleans. I, I can I can accept taking the capital of the American Union State. Okay, Puerto Rico is gone. Uh, neutral here. That's okay. Go to Tallahassee. The Hobbit or there and back again. Thank you, J.R.R. Tolkien, for a delightful little story. Go, go, go. Charleston's now under occupation. I would like to take Savannah, please, and thank you. Because you do want to take New Orleans. There were 20 victory points. So, obviously, it's pretty important for us to have. Go to uh, Biloxi. Assuming that's how you actually pronounce it. How are you guys doing? You haven't taken Savannah yet. It's worth 10 victory points, so it's important for us to have, of course. We got 10 on that side, 11 on that side. I want you all to stay over here for the time being. Yeah, and then you just push your way straight into, um... Just straight into New Orleans. Does American Union save a debuff? Uh, they do not. If any, actually, it's, it's the North that has a debuff. Modify the Great... Okay, you actually just remove the Great Depression. Thank you. Envoy raid them. I don't even know if my, play, my boats are actually doing anything. Uh, we will combine. We'll assign one of our admirals. And we will convoy raid them. At least a little bit. I want all of you to move your way straight to New Orleans. 
I want you to move your way down here. When are you gone? You're gone in two days. Okay, that's not bad at all. We got Canadian, or not Canadian, we got uh, American forces landing in Charleston as well. Where are you going? You'll be there in four days. I will be here in two days. I mean, we should be looking pretty good. Because we have three open tech slots. Go for the Owen gun. We'll then follow that up with the... Well, it's 37 right now. We'll go for the 38 research. And I will go for the 30... You know what? Give me the 39 industry. Also, I should have actually... Fo okay, never mind. It's fine. Military factories in South Ontario. Savannah still hasn't fallen, but that's okay. I'm going to see if anything's any Tallahassee. I mean, if we can get, like, an encirclement on New Orleans, that would be nice. Actually, I want you here, and I want you to move here when you can. 